at, look who I found. What is going on? Damn, I can't even stop this damn thing. What's, what's the deal? Oh, wait, this is a different one. Yeah, man. Y'all was like, who's this guy coming out this hill? Look at the nut coming out. <laughs> you know, I'm recording. Actually, I recorded it when I was coming oh, yeah. up. So, yeah. So, look who I ran into. Of course, it's a nice day. So, they had to be out flying today. Oh, do you, you guys already finished? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, what do you think of this one? I like this one. I like this version. It looks more classier. Sporty. Yeah. And the company name is? Ingui. Oh, yeah. yeah, seriously, I didn't plan this. Uh, these guys were just here, so. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ingui M20. Now this is a cafe racer slash moped style e-bike and it's great for commuters, it's great for off-roading, uh, also it's just great for just cruising around, you know, just having a little fun. So in today's video we're going to take a look at this, we're going to go over the specs, uh, the performance, uh, we're going to actually do a top speed run and see how it handles on the road and off-road as well. And at the end, I'll give you uh, my honest impression about this and also go over a few of the pros and cons with this bike. I swear this is still a drone channel, but I did have the opportunity to review this e-bike uh, thanks to Ingwe, the people of Ingwe. As a matter of fact, they are celebrating their nine year anniversary where uh, you can actually, they're doing a promotion where you can actually win one out of uh, 999 uh, prizes. You'll find out more information on their website uh, so I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. However, if you are new to this channel and you like drone and tech reviews and tutorials, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell for future content. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Ingwe M20. And right off the bat, you notice the color is white. This does come in three different colors. You come in this white here and also comes in black and green. The frame is made of aluminum alloy. Uh, which should be light. However, the bike comes in weighing at almost 90 pounds with the battery and about 75 pounds without the battery. So the M20 comes with a 750 watt motor, which peaks out at a thousand watts when needed and also offers 55 Newton meters of torque. And it also comes with a 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery, uh, which just slides on here to the rack and which requires you to lock it in place with the key. Now it also has a USB-A charging port here so you can charge your uh, devices at any time while you're riding and it has an off and on button here as well. Now the charging time on this is about five hours which is okay um, however you do get about 34 to 47 miles on just one battery. However you do have an option of purchasing a dual battery system as well. It also has 20 by 4 inch tires which sit on a aluminum mag wheel and also comes with mechanical disc brakes with a 160 millimeter rotor. Now as far as this model I do wish they would have uh, provided hydraulic brakes uh, because of the weight of it and actually the style. However I do understand but this is one of the ways they keep the cost down. Now getting a little bit more into the cockpit, the drivetrain is provided by a 7-speed Shimano shifter and a Torni derailleur. Mounted to the left side of the handlebars is a small black and white display uh, which does give you information on your battery level and mileage. However, I would have preferred to have real-time voltage levels as well. And next to that are buttons to activate your lights and your horn. Alright, so this is something different for me. It does have a full twist throttle rather than a half to a startle, which I'm kind of used to. And the grips are nice and grippy. Uh, they're not too soft, but um, they are grippy and I don't find my hands slipping off of them. And another thing I like, it does have these BMX style handlebars, which are pretty wide and offers a little bit more stability when you're riding the bike. And the pedals are the basic pedals, 
which are aluminum and from Welgo, and I have no complaints over those. It also has front suspension, which is adjustable. It also has rear suspension, which is not adjustable. Now on the rear suspension, uh, you probably get maybe two inches of travel. And then you have two big headlights on the front, which are very bright, uh, especially at night. And uh, I think this is sufficient for the areas that I ride in. And it also has a light on the back, which serves as a brake light as well. So when you pull the lever, the brake levers on both sides, it does activate the brake light and it's really bright. Also, it comes with metal fenders, which I like. Um, I don't hear any rattling or anything, so they're pretty quiet for the most part. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna take this out for a little ride. I'm gonna do a speed test, and also we're going to do a hill test and just ride around and do a little bit of off-roading as well. And then we're gonna um, go back and I'm gonna share a couple of my thoughts on this, my honest impression about it, and also some a uh, few pros and cons. All right, so let's go. All right. All right, let's sync up the audio and let's go. All right, I'm in pedal assist three. I'm gonna go up this little hill here. Go pedal assist five. Go up this little hill. Pedal assist five. All right, he's gonna need some help lower gear. All right, here we go. Yeah, definitely need help up this little hill. Little help. All right. All right, pedal assist five. On the soccer field. Hitting like 16, 15 miles per hour, 17. Right now, I'm not giving it full throttle because I'm trying to hold my remote steady but the air 2s is actually uh, following me quite well I might add all right pretty good 19 22 miles per hour let's slow it down because we're on gravel. Don't want to bust our asses. You know what I mean? All right, Air 2S has uh, obstacle avoidance on this. Let's see if it avoids some of these trees going through here. Like uh, I already crashed my, um, my Mini. Crashed my Mini 2, or actually no, Mini 3, I'm sorry. Crashed my Mini 3. trying to do frontwards tracking, knowing that it does drift, it doesn't stay in front of you, and it got caught in a tree. And when I was trying to get it out of the tree, I missed it, and it fell to the ground, and damaged the gimbal. So I have to send that one in. All right, this thing is a little, it's nimble. These um, fat tires really dig into the ground. They're knobby and they really dig into the ground. So uh, this is nice. And also I don't have it, I don't have the tires fully inflated. And that offers a little bit more uh, grip on the ground. All right, let's get a little side action here. Active track, parallel, go. All right, it may take a while to catch up to me, but obstacles are clear. All right, so this thing drifts. It does drift a little bit, so I'm gonna turn around. And it's holding this position. All right, let's go. All right, so I don't like it when it's, it's always iffy when it's following you from the side because it doesn't have side obstacle avoidance. Now this hill here, we're gonna do Kind of take the hill parallel. 
little gear. Take the hill parallel. All right, let's punch it up the gravel. Uphill. Now I'm down to three out of five bars. Been riding this around for a little bit. Now the speed test I did a little earlier before this, so I could do it on a full battery. All right, so what we're gonna do, that was a little hill test. It wasn't, you know, you can see the little hills out there in the, um, in the field there. Uh, I did do another hill test, a different one, you'll see that in a minute. So let's go over and do the speed test right now. All right, so right here, I'm gonna do a uh, speed test with the throttle only. And we're gonna go to pedal assist five. All right, so throttle only in three, two, one, go. All right, 10 miles per hour. 17. 22. Hitting a headwind. 26. 27. 26 on uh, the bike speedometer. And it looks like 27 is the max throttle only. It's not going anywhere else other than that. All right, so right now we're gonna do pedal assist. I'm gonna have it on pedal assist five and I'm gonna uh, pedal as fast as I can and see what we need as a, as a top speed with pedal assist. Three. Two, one, go. All right. Drop in gear, or put it, go up in gear. All right, I'm in gear seven. Pedal assist five. 28, 29. Looks like 28. And I'm spent. All right, it looks like 28. And because I can't get a good leg extension, uh, I couldn't really pedal as fast as I wanted to, or as fast as I actually could. So, that's that. All right, so we're gonna do a hill test really quick. I'm gonna do it throttle only. All right, so I'm not sure the, the grade of this hill, but it's not really a, a steep grade here. All right, throttle only, three, two, one, go. Eight miles per hour, 11. 15. 18. 19. So this is a decent, I'm not gonna even do pedal assist because it's actually doing well on this little hill. And we're starting to even out now, so. So the GPS and the speedometer are about the same, give or take one mile per hour. Now I did go into the menu to uh, adjust the tire size so we can actually match up to um, the 
GPS. I believe I put in here, it was set to 20, but I put 22, I believe. Or maybe it was at 22 and then I put it down to 20. But originally it was reading more than the GPS. So I went in here and made those adjustments. All right, here we go on another hill. And it's a long one, so we're gonna do throttle only. We're going 25 miles per hour right now. We just came down another hill. And this hill is a little steeper. We're still at 25. Going down to 23, 22, 21. And 19. So we good on that. And I can't see, okay, I'm still at five bars. All right, just uh, got another box from uh, Ingui. And like I mentioned earlier, they are celebrating their ninth anniversary. And if you go to the website, you have a chance of winning, you know, a whole bunch of prizes, including uh, an e-bike. So let's see what's inside this box. Now, I believe this is similar to one of the boxes that you can win. Now, this is a nice little mesh, little bag that you can, you know, tote your stuff away in. And then you have a nice a backpack slash rack bag now on the back here this is upside down you have these little hooks that you can hook on to your rack and use it like a uh, paneer bag on your bike now I don't know how we'll hook it up on here but uh, with a bike uh, on a bike with a rack you definitely can use this and inside Looks like a helmet. Now they say you can also win a, a special gift box with a smart helmet. But this here looks like one of the basic helmets. Nice brown color. Nice basic helmet with padding inside. And it looks like it's more in here. And you get a lock. Looks like a bike lock. Now the bike lock is a foldable bike lock. Looks like it's heavy gauge. Not too familiar with bike locks, but uh, looks pretty nice. I can definitely use this. And it comes with a set of keys. And it looks like you have your attachments to attach it onto your bike here too. Now this bag is really nice. It's a tough bag. It also has reflective uh, patches on here. It has an insert on the inside where you can actually store some more stuff. Just have to look into that and see what I use this for. And then you also get a strap. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in this bike or any other e-bike that Ingui offers, I will leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. So just to go over a couple things that I didn't mention earlier in the video, uh, the unboxing. Now, um, the box and the bike arrived in one piece. There was a couple holes in the box. However, the bike was fine and you know there was no problem with that. So the model I have is the single battery version. You do have the option of getting the dual battery version. Um, all that does is actually uh, gives you, you know, double the range. It doesn't increase the speed or anything like that. Uh, so just be aware of that. So inside the box, you get a uh, toolkit to use uh, to actually put the bike together, which is nice. I'm glad uh, they actually provided that. I actually carry that around with me on the bike uh, just in case I need any tools while I'm out on the road. You also get a two amp charger. Now it takes like five hours to charge this battery from zero to full, uh, but you know, maybe if a three amp charger was included, um, maybe that will uh, help out with the charging time. And of course it includes an instruction manual. So overall, I do like this bike. It is nice and sleek. Uh, it does turn heads. And I get a lot of questions when I'm riding down the street. Uh, I may get stopped every once in a while uh, by someone who's interested uh, in hearing about what this bike is you know, all about. 
It does have a 750 watt motor that peaks out a thousand. However, it does has its pros and cons. All right, so starting off with the pros, this bike comes with a dual lighting system or dual headlight system, uh, which is impressive. It is bright. Uh, I do like it. I have ridden at night. Uh, also, the uh, tail light is also bright, and I like that it is integrated with the brakes. So when you press the brakes, you know it lights up really bright. And another pro for me uh, personally, I do like the seat. The seat. Um, it is a, comfortable to me for some reason. I mean, it's not that thick or it's not that plush, but I guess it's the way it's angled or something like that um, and the way I sit on the bike. And I can actually go a long time you know, sitting on that bike. The dual suspension, I guess, is okay. This is basically my second e-bike. So in my first e-bike with dual suspension. So the rear suspension does help out or help smooth out a lot of the uh, rough terrain and I guess that's what makes the seat so comfortable also. And another thing I like is the little bag that comes with it. Uh, it does come in handy. I do put my tools or uh, cell phones or um, cameras or anything I need in there. It actually comes in handy, so uh, I like that as well. And now for the cons. Uh, this does have a 750 watt motor. However, it seems like it's not putting out to its full of potential. The top speed is advertised at 28 miles per hour. However, I consistently get between 25 and maybe 27 miles per hour when on level ground while just using the throttle. Now, if I pedal, as you saw in the speed test, I could get up to 28, but it is very difficult getting up to 28. So from this bike, you can expect between anywhere between 22 and 25 miles per hour consistently. And the fact that it doesn't have hydraulic brakes this bike does weigh, you know, between 7, 75 and 90 pounds, and it's a lot to stop, especially if you are, you know, a heavier person um, and, and you're going fast or something like that. Uh, hydraulic brakes may have been a better choice for this bike. However, you do get, you know, decent stopping power with the mechanical brakes, but I think hydraulic brakes will, you know, would have been better. But despite some of the bike's limitations, I do think this is a good value uh, for the money. Uh, you do get a dual suspension system. You get uh, a nice, you know, nice headlights. You get a 750 watt motor um, and the bike does look nice. So if you are interested in this bike, uh, make sure you hit up Ingwe on the website and go ahead and check it out. And also if you use the link in the description below, I will provide a coupon code where you can actually save some money on it as well. And as always, if you like this video, uh, be sure to give a thumbs up. And also, if you like this type of content, if you like drones, tech, reviews, and tutorials, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. But until next time, you guys be safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.